Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to use or install Viper for Android, that little audio thingamabob, uh, on Magisk. So our full systemless experience now has a great audio quality as well. So, um, well first off to get Magisk you can either just be rooted normally with SuperSU or any other kind of root that you like and you can install Magisk right from the Magisk Manager app available on the Play Store. So you can download that pretty much on here on the Google Play Store, open that up and I guess I can briefly show you how to do that and or otherwise you can follow one of my tutorials I have on my YouTube channel where I can tell you how to uh, fully install Magisk in a way that you can probably use Android Pay if you wanted to. Uh, so you can check that out here, I'll have a link to that down below, you can just find it on my channel, it's like be or will be my third last uploaded video but I'll have a link to that down below as well and also if you just want to read about more about Magisk uh, this also has instructions and a lot more detail than what I'm going to go through and yeah so there's even downloads and, and installation instructions there for you but today we're going to be having a look at Magisk Manager and how to install Viper for Android on that so initially this uh, when you open the app it'll ask you for root access so you'll just need to grant that and let's say uh, you're rooted with whatever it may be, so in this case I'm using PWH as super user, but you could be using SuperSU. And once you've granted root access, you can slide over and tap on install, and then press Magiskify uh, to install Magisk pretty much. And that is, you only need to do that once, and once every time you update, preferably using the zip file, uh, which I explained in my latest video, well, the one before this one. Uh, so once you have Magisk installed, and so in the status it says yes, you have the latest version, 10.2 uh, when this video is made. So we're going to have a look at Viper for Android, which is just here in the download section. Now it's Viper for Android FX, and you can tap on the little download arrow and then tap on download and install, which will download the zip uh, pretty quickly. And we shall, I guess we can have a look. Well, it's almost already done, so no problems there. Now, uh, a reboot is necessary, but we're going to tap on no thanks, and we're going to tap on that little question mark here to bring us to this Android file host page with the APK. Now, I believe this is necessary, although it's not really mentioned anywhere. I'm not sure if the zip already contains the APK and, you know, installs it through its uh, magical disks, but we'll download the APK anyway and install that. Once that's installed, we shall reboot our, our phone, and hopefully we should see Viper for Android installed and ready to go. Okie dokie. So we can tap on that and then tap on install. And we don't want to open it just yet as we haven't restarted our phone just yet. So we're going to hit done. And I want to get out of here. And then we're going to reboot our phone with our new restart or menu. And I'll be back when our phone restarts. Not sure why Westpac, the app, likes to open up whenever I do anything. I find that kind of strange. But anyway, once our phone turns back on, um, we can definitely take a look and see if Viper for Android uh, works well. So I'll be back when this is all done, and we shall take a look. Alrighty, so our phone has built it back up already, and we can now open up the Viper for Android app, but I think before we do that, we can go back to our Magisk Manager app and check that our, our, our module has been installed and yes there is a tick so I assume that is okay and so now we're going to open up the Viper for Android app which should be down here here we are I'm going to tap on allow I'm going to tap on ok and I have no idea how to check uh, driver status So I assume that means it's not enabled, but it is installed. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but um, let's, so I guess we can turn that on, and then we can have, I don't know, I'm no audio expert, but we can turn on the ones for the headset as well, I guess, and, uh, boy, and, oh, whoops, that looks interesting. 
Hmm. Maybe we'll turn on base and all that. But yeah, I guess if we have a look at the drivers again, it is now enabled. So to what I can say and see that this has been a success and works or oh, works uh, so far. I haven't been able to test this, but I'm sure many of you can. And I can probably do this and let you know in the description or something like that. But that is it for this video. Um, thank you for watching. It's quite simple, but I guess just a little hidden step to download and install the app, which I think is available on the Play Store. Maybe not the Play Store, but it is available somewhere. It's uh, not the purple icon that we see, but the blue one. And it looks a little bit different. So this is Viper for Android 2.5. I believe, and that is how you install it using Magisk. So thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you all in the next one.